Hello, friends. Thank you for joining me for today's devotional. This month, we have been looking at the story in John chapter 4, the story of Jesus meeting the women at the well. And we've been looking at formulas that we need to drop. Along our journey of faith, we pick up these formulas that actually will always let us down. One of them is believing that what we need, we can get from this earth. We can't. Jesus gives this woman something she could never get from anything in this world, and neither can we. Now, if you have been following along, that's awesome. If you joined us today but haven't listened to the beginning of the series, you may want to go back to the feed and listen to the first part of this series. Uh, but today, we're going to read from John chapter 4, starting in verse 10 through verse 15. And then we'll talk about it, and then we'll pray. It says this, Jesus answered, If you knew the gift of God, and who is saying to you, Give me a drink, you would ask him, and he would give you living water. Sir, said the woman, you don't even have a bucket, and the well is deep, so where do you get this living water? You aren't greater than our father Jacob, are you? He gave us the well and drank from it himself, as did his sons and livestock. Jesus said, Everyone who drinks from this water will get thirsty again. But whoever drinks from the water that I will give him will never get thirsty again. In fact, the water I will give him will become a well of water springing up from him for eternal life. Sir, the woman said to him, give me this water so I won't get thirsty and come here to draw water. Powerful, powerful story. Jesus meets this woman at the well. We talked about it last time where she is this outsider, a Samaritan, a woman who uh, perhaps has a bad reputation in the neighborhood because she had been married multiple times. We don't know whose fault that was, whether it was hers or other people. But nevertheless, she was rejected by the community and she was at the well at noon in the heat of the day and Jesus asked her for water. Then they get this into this conversation. And Jesus tells her, this water that you get from this well, well as good as it is, there's something better than that water. There's something that can quench the thirst that you have in your soul that this water cannot solve. You see, God created us. We know this. It started in the beginning, created us to thirst for Him. We are not to be independent of our Creator. But it is a challenge, right, for us. We tend to want to have things our way, to demand of God, and try to become like God. And in so doing, we actually end up drenching ourselves with something less than the living water that God has for us. And we end up starving ourselves of what we need. We need unity and relationship with God. We will find ourselves deeply thirsty all the time if we're not by Him. I love that the psalmist, David, really knew this. He wrote one of my favorite psalms, Psalm 63, where it starts out where he says, Oh God, you are my God earnestly I seek you. I thirst for you. My whole being longs for you as in a parched land where there is no water. David expresses this deep longing for the water that God can give, the deep soul uh, drenching, relieving water that we cannot get in this world. And David is is constantly talking about this. We see this in Psalm 42 as well, where he says, as a deer pants for streams of water, so my soul pants for you. You know, it makes me think of my sweet lab, Noel. I have a black Noel lab, and when we go for a walk, she's like, her tongue sticking out, she is thirsty, like that kind of deep thirst in our heart. And that's how God created us, to thirst for Him in that way. And the water that He's telling her about is, is a water that brings life wherever. And this is, he's really talking here about the Holy Spirit who would come after Jesus' resurrection and live in us and would be this living water within us that would be transforming us from the inside out to become more and more like Jesus. And that deep, deep thirst that we have, he would quench. Now, what would it be like for us to increase our thirst for God? And if we're not thirsting for God, Maybe the question we need to ask ourselves is, what are we filling ourselves with? What earthly thing are we satisfying ourselves with that only God can ultimately satisfy us with? And so today I want to pray for us that 
If we are leaning on something that's very earthly for our soul satisfaction, that God would open our eyes to that, that we would put it down, that we would put down this idea that we can get what we need from this earth. There's a lot of good things that God has provided for us, but the life that we need only comes from God. And if we are seeking God, I pray that our thirst would only increase It's not bad to ask God to increase our thirst for Him because at the end of the day, even though the Spirit is in us and is filling us and is flowing out of us, we want to remain in this place of dependence of God. And when we say we want to increase our thirst, we want to increase our dependence on Him because we all in some way try to be independent. So that's my prayer for us today. Let me pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for this powerful picture that Jesus You offered this woman, this outsider, this marginalized person, God, living water, new life, a new heart, all the gifts, Lord, that come by your presence, oh God, presence, your healing, your peace, your joy, your patience, and all the the gifts uh, that come, Lord, from you. We are blessed people because we know that what we need can come from you. And Lord, today we want to just acknowledge that we tend to feed our souls with other things. We tend to try to quench our thirst with things of this earth. And we want to confess that perhaps we are filling ourselves, at least we feel we are full temporarily with those things, and they will not satisfy. At some point or another, that formula will come crashing on us. Lord, today we want to increase our desire for you, increase our thirst for you, Father, increase our dependence on you. Would you help us do that? And Lord, as David cries out to you for thirst, would you satisfy our souls with with that that comes from heaven and nowhere else? My brothers and sisters who are listening, I pray, oh God, that if you are thirsty, that God, you would fill their hearts. We thank you for your faithfulness. You are indeed trustworthy and we can come to you with our deepest needs. And we do. We lift these deep needs up to your loving hands. We thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining me today. If this was a blessing to you, please share this with others that they too would be blessed and refreshed today. And remember, if you have not watched the past ones, go back in our feed and check those out. May the peace and grace of Jesus Christ be with you today and all week long. We'll see you next week.